do a table impersonation. <laughs> I'm an extendable table. You're proud of that one? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> friends today we will be starting on probably a pretty long journey to build our very own table so we've had the table that we currently have for about five years now as much as I'm grateful for this table I am also about to turn 26 this year and I feel like I'm an adult you feel so like you're an adult I, not you I are feel an adult. like I am an adult now <laughs> but it's just a little bit in rough condition now there's some water damage on it and one of the feet are broken and it's still it's a little wobbly one of the feet are broken one of one of the feet one of is the, one of the foot <laughs> is broken <laughs> Grammatically correct sentence down. Ow. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, it was a good starter table for us, and now we have, yeah. you know, adult money, and uh, we can buy cool things for ourselves. Yeah, we have adult money. Let's spend adult money on adult things that we like. Before it was like everything is hand me down, or like we bought something but it, everything clashes. But now we have all this time, and we're just like, yeah, no, let's make our manager, manager, <laughs> our friend, <laughs> our. Our furniture actually match. We don't want or can spend like on these fancy tables or easily like a grand and sell them on websites or two grand and we're gonna try to make it for like less than a grand, less than five hundred dollars. Plan is we're gonna follow a tutorial by the Sari Girls who I am obsessed with. They're called the Sari Girls because they're from Canada and they're a DIY team and they're super great. One of the girls actually made this table for her own home and I fell in love with it. I think it's super cute. So first we're gonna go to IKEA and try to go curbside pick up the legs of the table. And the one I've been looking at is called the Meltorp and it's the underframe. It's $20, but it's only in white, so we're gonna have to paint it a different color. So be fine. After that, we have to get the, on top of the, it's the legs, and on top of it is a piece of essentially wood. It's MDF. An MDF uh, sheet. And after that, we have to get the actual piece of wood. And then stain it all. I think the stain that they use is like American. But it's like a nice like dark wood that looks still natural and you can still see like the thing. And I think the type of wood that we'll be using is maple if we can find it. Or, or. You excited? You excited? Okay, so we have our supplies, a tarp, table base, primer, and some spray paints that will hopefully last us for all of the table legs. <laughs> Why? This is a cha children, well it's not for children, but still. <laughs> we're gonna put some primer on them, and then we're gonna spray paint them black. And this is probably gonna take all day. Are you just gonna stand there and not help me and, and do these? Yeah, happy birthday. It's my birthday. It's not your birthday anymore. <laughs> Literally a day ago, get over it. <laughs> well, that's for me. A good tip for everybody watching, usually when you seal it back, all the primer or paint gets stuck around here and then when you try to reopen it, it's really hard to reopen it. So a good tip you can do that I learned on the internet is you can put some plastic wrap just on the bottom of here and then seal it and the plastic wrap will prevent it from sticking to the can. So, hot tip! Well, I didn't know this was in 3D. Cause it, you went like that and then oh. it like... <laughs> I was like, we are all in 3D. Do you see in 2D fish? Uh, and if I did, would you love me any less? Wow, you didn't answer. What? What'd you say? <laughs> and I said, and if I did, would you love me any less? Yeah. And you just completely... No! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I thought you said, like, would you not love me? And that's what I went, I was like, like yeah, I would love you. I would love you if you were a worm. Hot tip number two. When you draw your painting stuff, you put your paintbrush in it and then you try to go like this in the edge of your can. Well, that makes more paint get stuck on the outside and it's just bad. So what you can do is you can do a regular rubber band. We didn't have one available, so we used uh, hair ties. And you just wrap them around your can like this. And that way when you go and you paint, you have a little bit and then you go against the rubber band and all the paint will go back into the bucket. So you can use less paint and you can reduce the amount of paint all over the place. So hot tip number two. You ready? Yeah. What were you doing? <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, they look. Well, the top parts look good. 
But the bad part is, is that it like drips underneath. So another top coat. Nope. So easy. This is why you put stuff down and it doesn't get stuck. And then you put your Liga back up and then you go back to paint. You want to use this paintbrush now and then we switch? Sure. Here you go. The second coat. Done. Now let's uh, let it for it to dry, and we'll be back in 45 minutes. It's like being a little squeaky, so I just went to Walmart and I got some sanding blocks. And this one's 220 and 220. 320, and I got two, so we can work. Both of us do it. Then we'll spray paint. Okay, wait, cool my. That is no one in the Star Wars realm because that is horrible. Who are you supposed to be? Oh, wait, wait, I can also be, I can also be. Put them down, fish. <laughs> Did you hear the noise it's making? Cause it's... <gasps> I'm gonna laugh when we run out of paint. <laughs> that was cool. That looks good. Yeah. Yeah, your hair looks, oh my, stop. <laughs> All right, you ready? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> what happened? Oh no. <laughs> we flipped it to do the other side. We noticed that there's drippage, so I was like, okay, let's wait for the drippage to dry a little bit so we can sand it down so it'll be smooth again. And then we flipped it back, there's white marks all over it and it feels gross. Gotta resand this side and then we gotta do another layer over here. Out of all of them, only one of them is fine. I'm really sad. I know, but it's okay, we'll fix it. It's gonna look great. <laughs> I know, it's just, I was really excited to be almost done. And now we gotta add another hour and a half. And this is probably gonna take all day. <sighs> okay, <laughs> let's get back to sanding. Super fun times. So, we have not painted, sanded. We also took a Walmart break and went back to the store to get another can of paint because we're like halfway through and we're like a third of the way done. We also have two spray guns, so like Juan and I can work at the same time. And he's like, no, you, we can just take turns. And, and I'm like, no, we'll be, we'll be like, <laughs> both of us and we can like knock it out and have time and we're like losing game. It's gonna take like two seconds for you to spray with paint by yourself. It's fun there. It's like, I race you, but I also not because- Then we're gonna rush and it's gonna look nasty. All right, get the paint. Well, ah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you mean to do that on purpose? No. Hello? Oh. Oh. You can't see your face. But man, look, it looks good. Yay! <laughs> You need to go get the wood. You need to go get the wood. I want to make the table out of oak now. Any hard wood is probably okay. We just don't want to go with pine because pine dents really easy and I don't want our table to look like we've been playing quarters on it because we are past that phase in our life. We're also going to need to get some wood glue. We also need to get the poly acrylic finish thing to like coat on top. That's the plan. We're gonna go to Lowe's, see if they have any oak, which I checked not too long ago that they did. What? What? What happened? You said to keep on going. That means I don't have to repeat myself. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, I'll update you in the car. So, wood, or MDF, wood, stain, table. Four steps, step. Almost done! Not really. Halfway done. We'll get it all done. Let's It'll go get our wood. We got all of our woods that we're gonna go on top of our table. It's really pretty. Um, we got red oak. That's the main NDF piece. We got a, a set of equipment. It has a circular saw. It has uh, one of these uh, reciprocating saws, a light, and a drill. A ducky. We have a good ducky. A good girl. 
And we got a couple other good things. We got some clamps. We bought some wood glue. We got our stain. We got the gloss. We bought screws. And Fish got some gloves. And Fish had a bone to pick with the gloves. I am upset with the companies because everywhere there was just larges and extra larges. And the smallest I would go was medium. And the only time that I could find gloves in my size were for gardening. And women are just not gardeners. There's some women who are woodworkers too. And so like it was really a little bit sexist for them to only have gardening gloves in my size. But luckily the gardening gloves are roughly the same texture as like the other gloves that we should be using when we're doing all sorts of stuff. But, and they're cute colors, so that's fine, I guess. And I do need gardening gloves too. So this kind of ended up working out. So for all of you that are new to woodworking, we found this out the hard way because we had to go to two different loads because we didn't know. This type of wood is a one inch by four inch by a 10 foot piece of wood. However, that's not the actual measurement. The actual measurement is 0.75 inches by three and a half inches by 10 feet. And the reason why is because pieces get cut from the trees and they get cut to the actual like one by four by 10. But once they cut them, the wood gets set to dry to release all the moisture from when it's a tree and they actually shrink a little bit. Now we know and you know too, so hot tip number three. Alright, so we are waiting for the table pieces to dry, we spray painted them and now we can try everything in the coat. While that's drying, we're gonna go and cut our giant pieces of wood into the pieces that we need. So we're gonna start just dimensioning. Thankfully, the sorry girls have already done the math for us, so we just gotta cut them to the exact pieces. We need nine 16 inch pieces, nine 12 and a half inch pieces, and 23 9 inch pieces. Alright, they're all marked up and ready to cut. So Juan, my dear loving husband, thinks would not have taken him that long if we just used the normal saw. Because we were about to just do it with this instead of the power saw. And it's just like, it'll take you like two days. It's like, worst case scenario, two days. Like, I don't You're think gonna... it will take me two days. I think it would take Your me... arms would fall off. I think it would take me a couple of hours, but it wouldn't take me two days. No, he literally, you said it would take you one hour more. Oh, you see that muscle right there? Stop it. Stop think... it. Stop. Look. It's gonna take me longer to take out the spin than actually sawing this. Mm. <laughs> what the poop? Is this allowed? There we go. Are you ready for some Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I got it. Fine, I accept it. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Can we just use the power saw, please? Sure. That literally took three seconds. I told you I got it. Wow, you did it. Good morning. Yeah. You have concha coming out of your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I just touched up some of the table legs, um, but those are basically done. We gotta sand all the little pieces. The corners look a little rough. You can see how it's just not it's just not smooth and finished. So I'm just gonna finish up and smooth all these edges up. This is one of the last pieces that he did versus like one of the first pieces that he did. Like, look at that. Look at that improvement. Wow. Look at you, babe. Yeah. Yeah. So this will take me a little bit. Let's get to it. <gasps> Pro tip number four or five. Fish doesn't know. She's not giving these tips. Clean up your work area as you go, so that way you're not being super messy. Clean space is a functional space. I did it! What grit did you use, sir? I used the 80 grade sandpaper. You might go over them by hand with a finer sandpaper, like maybe a 120 or a 220. The ones that we feel are not super smooth. But now we put them, you know, close together. You know, they're not gonna be not flat. Yeah, look. look how pretty it's going. Ah! It's a little wonky. But we Babe, you, it. you got a nine inch piece there, not a 12 and a half. I know. It looks look so pretty. It looks like little puzzle pieces and we just got to pick the pretty ones. And if we need to, we'll cut more, but I don't think we will. Hi, baby. Wanna say again what you just said? <laughs> we finished. 
Test our table. We're going to do a test of our stain. We're going to do a little swatch. After looking at the colors we like, we decided to settle on cherry wood. This actually kind of looks like poop a little bit. Mm. So this was like a gel and I had to like stir it like crazy for it not it's to still, look like It's still lumpy. It's still, yeah, it's, it could tell it's a little lumpy. It's a mix it until it's smooth. It's a creamy. It, it's a creamy. creamy. So it's like creamy poop. It kind of actually just looks like melted chocolate. Well, now it does, but this looks like poopy toilet paper. Before, after. It looks nice. <laughs> oh my god, that's you. You're done. You look pretty good. We're gonna start building it. We're gonna build the frame. This should be really fast. Hello, let's get some food. <laughs> it looks really nice. It stands. And it's actually pretty sweet. It's a good size. Let's put the MDF on top, see how it looks. Yeah. Okay. You excited to see your new table soon? Okay. Hi, baby. You being cute over there? MDF is too big, so we're gonna start trimming it down to the size. So, wish me luck! Good luck! First cut's done, so I'm gonna redo it, try to get to the actual measurement. Let's go! Other side! I did it! Every single time you do something, I did it. Do you want to put the white one on top and see how it looks? Look at that. Wow, she's beautiful. She's a, she's a beaut. I just want to go on the record and say, um, Enrique, suck it. Because he calls us hoarders all the time and our hoarding tennis finally paid off because we have these tiny little protractors from Juan's like fourth grade. Yeah. <laughs> They're like from way more than fourth grade. These are like relics. Like I'm pretty sure these are worth like at least a billion dollars in the bank. Yeah, for sure. So we're trying to line up the herringbone design. So we drew a line down the middle of our table so we know where the corner is. And we used the protractor to make sure that this is a perfectly 90 degree angle. So the bottom pieces are perfectly lined up and then that lines up with this corner here. It's okay if there's a little bit lined up at the end, we're gonna cut it off and we're gonna put pieces to fill in over there. Let's get to it. Oh, also I just wanna say ripperoni to this corner. You don't need what? to see the mistakes. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, we're perfect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Looks really good. First layer of glue down. Now it's time to do the outsides. Ready? <laughs> so we had a situation where some of these pieces for some reason, they're a little bit smaller. We have no clue how it happened. We're moving past it. We're trying to lay it on top, but there's a piece of wood here that is not letting this hit perfectly. So I cut it down, there's a little piece left and we're trying to cut it with the exact knife. But they don't show you on DIY channels. We literally do that and then we chisel it. Chisel, chisel, chisel. Yeah! Problem solved! Yeah. <laughs> We've been working at this freaking thing for an hour. Apparently all the 16 inch pieces, they're like slightly off. So yeah, pro tip number five, do the shorter pieces first because it's fine if it no, ends. No, pro tip is measure everything thoroughly afterwards. <clears throat> Every time, even though we thoroughly measure it twice, something happened somewhere. Look at this little one over here. She's, she's just watching. Look at how nice it's looking! Yay! This is a good stopping point for tonight. We're very happy with the progress we've made today. Time to eat some burgers. Look at that. <laughs> what do you got? Some we got some holes to fill, so we're gonna use it. Oh. So not to drive ourselves crazy with other stuff, we're gonna try to wood fill it. Yeah. 
That looks good. Okay, so Juan's just gonna be following this line now to um, cut all this excess off. Shouldn't be too hard, right? It shouldn't. I need to remind myself to go nice and slow. Here, I actually have to be very careful because whatever the edge is, is gonna be the actual edge of our table. So we're fine. Let's do it. Yeah, let's get the table done. Yeah. <laughs> This was a pain because... How many batteries did we through? We went through two and a half batteries, but apparently this was just getting too much for the for the saw. It was calling a lot more power, so my batteries kept dying a lot. So if you see on the, on the sides, you'll see kind of stops and goes in a couple places because my battery would stop. This was the very first side. It actually, we didn't have any problems there because we still had full battery. But you can see like stop and go marks every now and then. But now we can show pre-stained what our table is gonna look like. Wait, you're not even gonna get to see it first. Okay. Ready? One, two. It looks so cute. <laughs> oh my god, look how cute it looks. Oh, it's so dumb. It looks so cute. You wanna know my favorite piece? This little baby corner. <laughs> I love that one. And I also love the other little baby corners. There's two other little baby corners. I can now see why they charge like six hundred dollars for these tables. This wow, is a this lot is of work. Look dope. I am super this is so excited. This so pretty. Do you want to see the colors? Yeah. So we sure. can see those in the light. So this is one stain. It's how nice it's gonna look against it. We went to two coats, and then we want to see how a third coat will look if it was a little darker. You can kind of see the different colors, and so that's like gonna be the color of the whole table. Leave down in the comments which one uh, you we like the most, have gone with. and if you think that we're gonna have lots of regrets for not doing the one that you thought we were gonna do. Good morning! How are you today? Would you like to be my buddy? I would love to be your buddy. So, we took a couple of days off and... What? Fish was dancing? No, I was working. Oh, Fish was working? So she, <laughs> gave me, she did... What is that? What does that mean? I that's not working. I did this! That's running! She, she said, I did this! It's like, that's running? And it, Anyway, today, what I'm gonna do is gonna sand down the table so I can start putting some stains. Let's go. All right, sanding is done. It looks really good. All I gotta do is start staining it. Hopefully we can surprise, surprise fish with it in the morning. See what she thinks. Here's our table. Here's our stain. And let's mix, 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 mix. All right, here we go. Oh my god, it looks so good. Look at how good this looks. It's such a difference. The colors pop a lot more. The design pops a lot more. Fish is gonna be really happy when she gets home. I'm probably gonna wake up early so I can be ready and catch her genuine reaction on camera. Oh my god, we are almost done. There's the morning. Fish is here. Let's see what she thinks on the table. Hello. <laughs> Are you ready to see the first stain on the table? Looks so good. <laughs> oh, oh my god, it looks so good. Excuse me, young. Wow, it looks so good. I don't even know if I want the second coat now. <gasps> The wood filler looks great. Wow, it looks so good. You look so cute. You have sex because I'm looking at the table and not you. We'll make a decision whether we want to put a second stair or not after we sleep. Yeah. It looks so cute. We're trying to decide what color we like the table. It. Juan, Juan, Juan's ready. I think we're going to do the one, one stain. I think it actually looks really cute. You can tell, like, I like the slight difference in variation. Like, you can tell that these are, like, lighter and these are darker. But it's so cute. We're pretty happy. He's reading directions. Oh, this dries in two hours. We can apply it, watch Hamilton, and then by the time Hamilton is done, it'll be more than ready for us to sand. 
Oh my god. You scared Doka. Doka. Wait, I can do this. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> Put this thing up. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna do two things at one time. Juan is gonna work on glossing the tabletop while like moving and doing everything. There's a couple of scratch marks on the table. So I'm going to just spray some paint in like a little cup and then use like a paintbrush just to quickly go over like those small little spots. What are you doing with your hands? I don't know. We're gonna paint. Wow. We finished it! Two coats of stain, three coats of gloss, and yeah. it feels so nice. So we ended up needing to do a second stain because Juan, the first time that he sanded it, got rid of some patches. So then we were just like, let's just do another stain just to make it make sure it looks cohesive. And I really like the way that it turned out. I was going to be happy with it as if it was one or two. It looks super cute. I'm in love with it. We were debating about doing wood filler in all like the little crevices. That was something that we struggled with. The wood filler looks really good. We got the natural and then the stain over where it looks, it blends right in. I personally like the little crevices. I think it makes it look like, yeah, this for sure wasn't bought at like an Ikea. This for sure was like handmade. There's like some parts that aren't like perfectly sanded down and there are like little bumps. And I think that's really cool too. It just looks like a little, like a live edge table. But there's one last thing we gotta do. This is currently on the workhorse. We gotta put this on the table. I say we. Juan has to drill some holes. That's gonna be easy. He's just And then we're gonna be done. We just hole, hole it up, baby. Let's do it. Ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, the, the whole table just spins instead of the screw. <laughs> One down, seven to go. I lined up how you want it to. I see you. Hello. Hello. Other corner. <laughs> <laughs> Was that necessary? Yeah. <laughs> the faces that you're making right now. I'm gonna make sure it's straight. Okay, all done. Let's see how it goes. Let's turn this way. Okay, ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, I'm gonna cry. This took like two weeks to build. We, learned how we to did fold these. these. We fold. We folded these for you. That's where you sit. Oh yes. What a distinguished gentleman. <laughs> and then Doka can be a distinguished little lady. You can be a distinguished lady. She has a matching table. Yeah. We're just like Roka deserves to dine in style too. Oh, it looks so freaking good. We got some cute little placemats. Got some gray napkins to match the color of our chairs. I got some silverware that's actually really nice from Juan's uh, grandparents. It's from my great grandmother. So it's part of our china. There's like little detailing on them, little yeah. flowers. So cute. Like I'm talking about you. <laughs> and also dickies. Right, baby? And the table. <laughs> was that your joke? Yeah, that was my joke. <laughs> Full circle. And the table. It's so good! <laughs> <laughs> this is the most intensive project we've ever made together and probably now the most sentimental thing we've ever DIY'd together. One of the coolest things Fish and I have ever made. Really excited! It turned out really good! This costs between somewhere between like $200 and $300 in raw materials depending on whatever you want to get. 
definitely you guys don't have to spend as much as we did and it's definitely doable you can rent power tools you don't have to go out and buy a saw or a sander or anything like that this is this is totally and completely doable space was a small issue and it could be a small issue for you too but you know there is a place called the outdoors and that was our friend overall it was a pretty good project there were some frustrations but that's every project it's not about it being perfect like absolutely all perfect it's just about making it your own and trying to have fun as you do it and at the end you'll come up with something that you know you're gonna enjoy a lot and we're gonna enjoy this for hopefully many years until we decide to either build another one or buy something bigger but for now this is exactly perfect and what we had in vision because even two weeks ago we didn't think we we're gonna build this table and we actually are very happy we decided to, yeah. to put it together so if you liked the table let us know down in the comments if you want to see us build more things, also let us know down in the comments if you liked seeing this process. We have a couple of other things that we're actually already planning on building. So it'd be nice to know if you want us to record them, because if not, then we, we won't. But if you do, then, you know, we will. <laughs> <laughs> this is super awesome, and I think anybody could do this, and it was really fun. Yeah, we're pretty upset that we can't show this to anybody, because no one can come to our house right now. But when we do, it's going to be so nice, because there is such a... We can move it aside and it takes up so much less room and we can put it like this, we can do it like this, and then we can have like a walk right here, or a walk right there, and it's just like... This table will be here, <laughs> and it will be a state. And it just, it's so nice, it just feels like us. Imperfect, but beautiful. Yeah. It is very late at night, and we gotta, we gotta finish doing laundry before we can go to bed. So, thank you for watching, we'll see you next time. Bye! Did you say bye? Say bye! You look like, I was gonna say you look like Aang. <laughs>